Hello, and welcome back to the orchestration training series. I'm Thomas Goss. This video course is the second of an ongoing series designed to introduce you to the different sections of the orchestra and the instruments in those sections. Previously, in the Orchestration 101 course, we studied the string section, the fundamental instrumental group of the concert orchestra. Now our attention will be focused on the wind section, the next logical step in building your understanding of how the orchestra works. Why follow our study of strings with wind instruments? The reasons have to do with reducibility, relationships, and the history of the orchestra. Firstly, as we discovered in Orchestration 101, the strings are the basic building block of the orchestra. In order to say that an orchestra has been assembled, the general assumption is that a string section makes up its core. Now let's expand the size of the orchestra. If we're growing our numbers from a string orchestra to a chamber orchestra, the next group to be added must be the winds. When you study symphonic works of the classical era, when the orchestra was slowly evolving toward our modern conception, you'll see that the music relied heavily upon strings and winds, with a little help from timpani and horns. The composers of that period were fascinated by the contrasts and similarities between winds and strings, and the foundation of the general approach to dealing with these instruments was laid down during that period. In fact, it would be safe to say that the winds and strings bear the strongest bond of any two orchestral sections, and that the winds provide something of a gateway for the string section in relating to the brass. All the same, the winds are nothing like the strings in construction, technique, and individuality. Nearly every member of the string section is an instrument from the violin family, plus the double basses from the viol family. But the wind section is composed of four distinct families of instruments, the flutes, the oboes, the clarinets, and the bassoons. In order to study the winds in a comprehensive way, each of these families must be explored in detail. What's more, the individual roles, collective alliances, and group functions have to be clarified. In consideration of this level of complexity, I've divided the information into two sister courses. This first course, Orchestration 102, The Wind Section, gives you an essential overview of the winds as an orchestral group. The next course, Orchestration 103, Wind Instruments, will examine each instrument individually. Please check the final video of this course for more details. It's great to have you back, and to teach you more vital information about the craft of orchestration. Now that you've been checked into the 102 course, I can't wait to show you what we'll be studying. So on to the next video.